There are quite a few misconceptions on how to properly clean electronics, from everything to keyboards, mice, controllers, even PCBs. In today's video, we're going to be going over all of that. So our best friend for cleaning the majority of stuff is going to be isopropyl alcohol. Isopropyl alcohol is great for not only cleaning, but disinfecting almost anything. It is a great solvent, and when you're cleaning electronics, it's great because it evaporates quickly. Now, this is a 70% isopropyl alcohol, so that's the ratio of alcohol to water. If you can, the higher the better. 90% would be a lot better. So if you're cleaning something like a PCB, make sure that you just let it all evaporate before you use it but it should evaporate pretty quickly. Uh, another tool we have here is a microfiber cloth. Now this is not a microfiber cloth. Don't pay attention to that. If you have one, use it. If not, a normal rag will work fine. Just make sure it's clean and doesn't have anything that will scratch whatever you're cleaning. We also have a toothbrush. Now this is a clean toothbrush and this can be used for cleaning numerous different things. Okay, so we're going to start with cleaning our peripherals, so that being our keyboard, mouse, and I'm also going to count controllers. So we come on over here. We're first just going to start simply with our rag here, pretend it's a microfiber cloth, and a bit of isopropyl alcohol. Just going to use a little bit in the rag here. And we're going to start cleaning the keyboard. Now, simply, you're just going to be wiping it down, just cleaning it. Now. Another thing I forgot to mention is that if you have a lot of dust and crap inside of your keyboard, meaning like in between the keys, you can use a can of compressed air to blow it out. Uh, in this case, we don't have any, so we're not. Uh, so next, just very basically, our mouse here, again, just wiping it off. Um, now that I'm doing this, I'm kind of realizing how this is a stupid tutorial on how to wipe down things, but we're going to go with it. Okay. So the last thing I wanted to mention is controllers. We have an Xbox controller. It's perfectly fine to just, you know, wipe down with alcohol. Okay, so moving on to the bulk of our system, we're going to be actually doing the computer case here. Again, just a rag, a little bit of isopropyl alcohol. You can come over here. And again, just wiping down the case. Uh, nothing super complicated. This, in this case, um, if you come over here, you can see that the side panel is tempered glass, so you could use something like Windex or something like that. Anything will work perfectly fine. Uh, so yeah. Okay, so moving on, um, I'm going to show you how you can clean PCBs. So this includes stuff like motherboards or graphic cards or stuff like that. Um, you can just use a toothbrush, a little bit of isopropyl alcohol, and rub it down. Just make sure that you wait for it to completely dry before you use it. Okay, so moving on to the internals of our system. Uh, one thing that I forgot to mention, uh, another one of our tools is some compressed air. I have some, just some random compressed air I picked off off the shelf. This is great for blowing out dust, Doritos, what are you even talking about? <laughs> anything and everything. Uh, anyway, moving on into the inside of our system, come on over here. Uh, for the most part, you're just going to be blowing it out with compressed air. Uh, stuff like here on the power supply and on the drive bay and on the top of your uh, graphics card, you can wipe down some with you know, a rag and some isopropyl alcohol or whatever. If you really need to clean the PCB, uh, as I showed before, you can use a, a toothbrush and some alcohol and wipe that down. Just make sure you let that dry before you boot the system back up. But essentially, you just... Go in, little burst of air, clean out all the dust. I don't know how well you can hear me, but uh, when you're uh, dusting off the fans, make sure you hold the fan blades down. It's not good to blow the fan blades and have them spin, but just get inside the heat sinks and on the motherboard. And yeah, for the most part, uh, that's it. All right, so the last thing I'd like to talk about is how to clean displays. So... Whether you're cleaning a, a flat screen TV or a monitor, they're essentially the same. Um, use a dry microfiber cloth to dust it and wipe it down. And if you need to spot clean it, say there's a little smudge or something, just use a damp rag, 
little circles, and then dry it off. It's as simple as that. It's easy. It's one, two, three. Flex seal liquid. Flex seal tape. What's that? Tape it up. I'm sorry, I had to. Okay, so that's it for this uh, kind of stupid video of 90% uh, wiping down things. Um, but I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, get subscribed, leave a comment, or dislike. Thank you all for watching.